Okay. Went to two different stores. There are no 5 16 collars to be had. The radiator support rods are 5 16 So in the other video I said I was going to put two collars and then attach it and the support for the hood. So I decided to, I'm going to have to end up making one. So I bought this uh, 3 quarter inch bolt and I'm going to drill down through the center. I got a countersink here and what I'm going to do is I'll drill down through it with 5 16 drill then cut the bolt the shoulder part of the bolt and that'll give me a piece of tubing with a 5 16 hole and then I'll cut that in half and then I'll drill and tap two holes for set screws and that'll give me the 5 16 collars I need so you can see I've already started uh, drilling the uh, for the hole there. I started with a countersink. All right, and I'll. Uh, it's not. I couldn't. The hard part is there's a there's a, a slot in the vise. You can see it here. So when you put the bolt, the bolt is too long for this vise to go through there. So I shimmed it up. But you can't, with the way this swivels and the way this comes back and forth, I, could, I, couldn't, I couldn't find the center of the bolt. So it's going to be off just a little bit. But uh, whatever. And if this doesn't work, I'll have to go to plan B and make some type of clamp instead of a collar. But this is what I got so far. All right, we cut off cut off the threaded part okay cut that off 5 16 holes drilled already through the shoulder part of the bolt the head of the bolt was cut off I just with a uh, a, a countersink I uh, just put in four or the center drill you know I just put in four this is where I'm going to drill and tap for the set screws I'll probably put some 632s in there because it's pretty small and I I don't think I can get, any, get away with anything bigger. But that is it it's just to hold it in place. It's not I don't really think it's gonna go anywhere because the the uh, radiator support rods are on an angle coming in towards the radiator and these won't slide forward and back because it'll be try to get either closer or further away by by on those two rods you know what I mean so this is just just a precautionary I think so that's what I got right now and I'm gonna drill these now and I'm gonna tap them then I'm gonna cut it in half and I'll get my two collars and uh, we'll see what we can do if this doesn't work meh, go to plan B if that don't work hmm I don't know I don't have a plan C yet okay uh, back to work okay I got uh, two 632 holes drilled and tapped on each side I cut the pieces in half now I'm gonna go see if I can uh, position them on the uh, radiator support rods and uh, see what can I can come up with for the rest of the bracketry cool okay I got the collars here collars are on this piece is is going to be pretty much there. Now I got to make a brace across from from here to there, and they're going to be they're going to be on an angle because because these these are tapered in. It's going to look. I don't, see if I, see this. I don't know if you can see this. The glare in the camera. You could probably see it, but the glare in the camera, I can't see it. There it is. Okay, you see that line there. It's on an angle, and then over here, there's that one. That's the angle of the two rods coming in. So what I did was, I set it down on there, and I traced it. On the, I put it underneath, actually, like this. Okay. And then I traced, see the line? Okay, I traced it there. I traced it there. 
and that's going to give me the angle of the, of the two collars. So what I'm going to do is I got a little piece of angle iron, and I'm going to cut the angle iron. Let's see if we can see if we get the, out of the glare. Damn. All right. So the angle iron is going to the ends are going to be cut at that angle. So it'll fit in between the two collars. And then, then what I'll do is I'll weld the angle iron there, and I'll weld it there, and that'll lock that there. And the angle iron will give me a rigidity this way, because it's a right angle, right? It'll give me strength this way and this way. But this surface here will give me something to bolt on when it comes up to the piece up here. You know, see what I'm getting at? I need something for this top piece to bolt to, so that when I unbolt it, this whole, this whole piece here can come off. If I have to take the hood off. So that's my train of thought, and that's what I'm trying to get at now. Now, I may have to go in a little bit further, because I was just thinking, that was set up this was drawn so that it was at the very edge the very beginning of the very edge of this collar but I may want to have the, and that would put it out here I may want to have the edge back here so I don't know yet we'll see I may you know I can always trim it trim it shorter to move this in you know like take a little bit more off of that in this direction but keep it at that angle that way there I can move it forward if I need to okay I'm gonna go cut the angle iron and uh, be right back okay now I got the piece tacked in now <clears throat> what I gotta do is I gotta disassemble this all apart I gotta take the rods out and slide this slide this off finish welding grinding it drilling and tapping whatever I need and then put it all back together again so it's a, there's going to be a lot of assembly disassembly but as you can see this is basically what it's going to be now from here I'm going to have a piece that go up and tie into the hood and that'll support that end of the hood from going up and down because this is pretty it's really close to here, so there's not going to be a lot of not not a lot of flex at all. Back here, you can see there's some, but as you get near the end, there's going to be very little, and there's not that much, not that much of the hood. I mean, it's not going to be doing much, not a lot of weight. So I think it'll work out. I just got to make it uh, just look presentable. That's all. So okay. And that's what I got so far. Okay. Um, years ago, I used to work at a sheet metal shop. And they used to make all kinds of little brackets. And this is some of the, some of the stuff they used to make. And when there was like an overrun or something, you know, they'd throw all this stuff out. So I, I saved a bunch of these and all different weird little shapes things. So I came across this piece. And then I found a little piece of steel tubing. Now, the problem with this steel tubing, it's a, a 3 8 three eighths hole. And, uh, of course, that's a quarter inch rod. So it's a little bit too big. But you can see what, you can see where I'm going with this now? Now, if I make a piece that comes up from here, there's the two, there's the two bolts. I undo the two screws, slide that off, the the base that this is mounted to will go underneath will be underneath the hood so the hood can like slide over it and back and I'll be able to pull it out so all I have to do is just come up here with like a T and then put and drill and tap for that but I have to fill this out so I think what I'm gonna do now I got a choice I can either fill it with a MIG welder and then make it harder to drill or I got maybe I can just try filling it with braze and uh, and then drill it drill that I'll try you know what I think I'm going to try brazing it filling it in 
and then drilling a quarter inch hole right through the middle of it and uh, go with that cool alright so here this is where we got so far you can see the piece is still tacked in there now I'm going to uh, work that like that and then I'm going to put a little, a little cut a little piece or something like a T for that to mount on and then I'll disassemble it all up and then do all the finish welding, grinding, painting, whatever. And that'll be done. And then all this, all this has to be hammered and ground and filled and finish welded. And it's going to be a nightmare, this piece. It's going to be a nightmare. Jeez, if, you know what? If I had some decent... I don't know. I don't know what's what more work. Either working on this or just taking a fresh piece of sheet metal and rolling it and then doing a bead roll and then cutting cutting it here and then welding the hinge part to it because I don't have any hinge any extra hinge stuff so you know just cut that and butt weld it to that and that would be all brand new and I wouldn't have to worry about Doing all that, you know, that still might be a lot less work than doing this. I got a bead roller in the cellar I bought years and years ago. I never even used it. I don't know. I don't even know if I, <laughs> I don't even know how to use it. I know the principle of it. You know, you put the metal in there, you crank it down, and you you roll it. And then you crank it back, and you roll it a little bit more. So, you know, just a little at a time, you build up the bead, but. I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably try try finishing this because this is a, an original piece off of something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what it's off of. It might even be a Studebaker. I don't know. Um, it came with the body. I don't know where he got it. He didn't say, you know. But it would be cool to do that. All right. Um... All right, I'm going to try brazing that piece in here, filling that in. Then I'm going to do the quarter-inch hole, and then that'll give that'll give me uh, you know the right height because that'll be sitting there. Then I'll measure from the piece here going across up to the base of this, make up my support, and uh, get back to you. Cool. Okay. There's the piece. Filled it up with braise. Uh, I'll get something to pull that out of here. Jesus, Christmas cakes. That's. I'm going to do this. I'm going to tap on it here. That's red hot. So if I uh, take this, use my knee to undo the vise, and there it is. Okay. So I filled it up. There's some. There's some of the uh, the flux that hardens up. It, it it actually ends up like glass. But it's brittle. It'll it'll come right off. And I think if when I grind that flat on either side, I can, I'll be able to drill right right through the center of that, and uh, I'll be all set. All I gotta do now is just cool it off. Cool. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, I'll be right back, and this thing will be drilled. And probably sitting on the hood. Cool. Alright. There it is. Brazed and drilled. Quarter inch hole. Let's go see if it works. Okay. There it is. Okay. Now I just got to make a little platform for it to screw onto. Um. 
Let me think. I gotta have something to prevent. Uh, prevent that rod from falling out. You know, in other words, working its way this way. Because there's nothing here. Maybe I'll. What I'll do is I'll. Um, I'll weld a little, little washer at this end. So it can't come this way and it can't go that way once it's on the car. And if I have to remove it, I can, once the hood is off, I can pull the pin out. I could do that. Or do the same thing here. But I think it might be a little less noticeable right here. I can grind the washer down to that diameter there. I think that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll braise a washer down at this end. And, uh, Or maybe I'll do it at this end. It doesn't matter, I guess. The washer would be a larger, be a larger diameter like this. I wouldn't have to grind it down. I could just put it right, put it right in between there and, and let it go at that. All right. Okay. Now it's time to make the piece that goes from a, from across, from across this piece here, up to there with some kind of little platform. And I'll make it look like it wasn't, uh, um, I don't know how, what's the word I'm looking for, but make it look presentable, I guess. In my opinion, at least. Because I'm the guy that owns it, right? It's got to look good to me. If it don't look to me, uh, good to me, I won't be happy with it. So, alright, it's time to uh, make a piece for that. Just the upright. Okay. Okay. Be back in a minute. There's the piece mounted on that. Like that. This piece here was made up. So that's going to go. That's going to be the upright. Like that. And that's going to be the piece that goes in there. So I have to weld this to here. Let's see. I'll just slide there on there like that. Uh, let me see if I can get a little bit more light in there. You might be able to see it out of there. Kind of like that. And that's what it's going to be like. I just weld it all in. And, uh... Because I gotta, this all has to be um, in the right, the right spot. You know, uh, maybe uh, what I can do is I can tack it while it's just like this, so, like I did uh, the cross piece to the uh, collars. I'll put some sheet metal down over the motor, so for any sparks or anything, I don't want to have any problems with that. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll prop I'll prop this up like that with a with something so I can see it and then I'll put some sheet metal underneath it for sparks and uh, I'll just tack it and then t then uh, then take it off and weld it weld it up the way it's supposed to be. Alright. So that's what we got so far. Um, I'll uh, shut this off now and I'll disassemble it all up and finish it up and I'll show you the finished piece. Cool. Okay back again. That Now it's just tacked in place. I haven't disassembled it at all but that's that's basically it. Simple. Works. I mean, I mean, this is nothing, nothing crazy. But uh, I mean, I'm not going to be driving around with a car like with this hood up like that. And when this is, when the hood is down and locked in, with the fasteners here in the corners. That's going to support. That'll, that'll help support the weight weight of it also. 
because it's it's sitting on this shelf, sitting on this shelf of the body. It's not doing anything, and the only time that that has to support any weight is when I do this, and I'm not going to be moving. So that, even though it does have some flex there, and I do have a little concern at this end down here. My concern is this: there's a piece here welded to the aluminum radiator and it's just a piece of aluminum I'm not quite sure if uh, if that's going to hold up over in the long run with vibration and whatnot we'll see I mean if it does if it does turn out to be a problem then I'm either going to have to tie in off of off of the radiator shell to here to the radiator shell to help hold it up or I'm gonna have to you know come down off the frame with some kind of some kind of bracing but for now um, this is what I got and it's not too bad you know I can the hinges on the hoods on you know and I can get at the motor whatever I gotta do and that's it. You know, and it don't look too bad. All right, cool. Let's uh, I'll go put this on uh, online and let you guys check it out. Cool.